Hello everyone, welcome to tutorial number two with computerized engineering. In this video, we will be making this part in FreeCAD 1.0. Before we begin, let's look at the drawing. Now, this might seem a little bit complicated for beginners to understand as there are a lot of dimensions and a lot of lines over here. So what I did was I broke this down into seven simple steps which you can easily follow and I will explain this along the way. So let's just jump right into it. Let's begin with the tutorial. Let's close this file and open a new file. So in tasks, create body, create sketch. Let's look at step number one, which is very simple. All we have to do is create this circle, which has a diameter of 80 millimeter and a thickness of 20 millimeter. So top X, Y plane, choose circle 80, close this, go over here get this thickness 20 and voila we are done with step number one now let's go to step number two now in step number two we have to create this red highlighted sketch and basically this sketch has an arc over here one at uh, the second arc is over here and the second arc is located 30 degrees above this horizontal line and it has a diameter of 62 millimeter which is represented by this blue circle so once we create this sketch we will cut it like so and give it a polar pattern to have it on all three sides as we can see over here so i will choose this face start my sketch so first i will toggle the construction geometry on and just create some lines over here so let's give it some dimensions 30 so that means 62 divided by 2 there we go and now it's better if i create a circle over here like so okay now let's turn off the construction geometry and select select this create arc by center so I will create an arc over here and my second arc has the center over here so notice how this is not latched to this circle over here in order to do that I will choose this option create external geometry and then click here now I can just choose this point and this circle and then choose this constraint. Okay, now it is okay. Good. Now let's give some dimensions. So this arc over here, this has a radius of 6 millimeter. And now we can create these straight lines. So now I will choose this point and this point, constrain them, again control select these two points, constrain them. Okay now this line and select this line and this line and choose this constraint perpendicular because these are perpendicular. Okay now this is still under constraint which is because of this line. So I will choose this point and this arc over here. And now this is fully constrained. We can close and we will cut this 20 minus 8 millimeter. So here for the cutting, we will use this option pocket. So this is 20 minus, yes. <clears throat> so here we go. Now choose this feature and then choose this option, polar pattern and change the occurrences to 3. So here we have the end of step number 2. Moving forward, in step 3 we have to create this opening over here and in order to do that what we will do is we will create this shape so this portion will create this blue circle and this portion over here will create this red circle.
let's begin with the sketch. Now notice how I cannot see my sketch over here. What I will do is toggle the transparency so I can see my sketch. Let's continue with the sketch. Now let's give it some dimensions. So this one is 18 divided by 2 because I'm only making half of it. This is 18, so this will be 18 by half. Next, we have the height over here, 10 millimeter. And this is 40, but since we're only making half of it, this will be 20. And this is this is also 20. So from here to here, we have 20. This is fully constrained. Close. Choose this option, Groove. And OK. We can turn the transparency back to normal. And by the end of step three, you should get something like this. Now let's move on to step number four. In step four, we have to cut some holes. So we have this a set of blue holes over here and this set of red holes. The blue ones are located on a diameter of 28 millimeter and the red holes are located on a diameter of 62 millimeter from the center. So once again, we will only make uh, one set of these holes and for the rest of them we will use polar pattern so let's do that I can choose this face over here and uh, start my sketch so toggle the construction lines on let's give it some dimensions so this is let's have a look at it again so this is again 30 degrees above from the horizontal line and this is located on this circle which has a diameter of 28 millimeter. Let's give it some dimensions. 30. Let's extend this to here and make this circle. Now turn this construction geometry back to off and our first circle and our second circle. Okay, we have this sketch under constraint. So let's select this point over here and this line and then choose this constraint. This is fully constrained. Let's close the sketch and go to here, pocket, and through all. So here we go. Choose this feature, choose this option, change the occurrences to 3, OK. Moving on to step number 5, we have to create another set of holes. These holes are located on this circle, which has a diameter of 60 millimeter. So I will choose this face and start my sketch. Actually, press escape, toggle the construction on, and then restart my sketch. So this was 60, yes, and M6 hole over here. So turn this back off, select the circle, 6. So this should be constrained with this vertical line. And then close it, choose this option, change it to through all, OK. And then choose this feature again, go to polar pattern, change the occurrences to 3 okay so far so good moving on to step number 6 we have to create this shape over here let's begin with the sketch of step number 6 so I will start my sketch from here choose this orientation and I will toggle this off actually no I should toggle this back on and change the transparency so that I can see it. So let's begin with the sketch. So I will just create half of it and for the other half I will choose this option symmetry and then choose this vertical line. 
<clears throat> so now let's try to constrain it. So this is horizontal, horizontal, vertical, vertical. Join these two, this as well. Now let's start giving it some dimensions. So let's begin with this one, 2.5 and 3. So from here to here, this is 2.5 and this is 3. Now this is equal to this one and this is equal to this line. And from the top, this is 11 millimeter which comes from here. Select both of these points, just connect any disconnected point that you see. Okay, so from the top we have 12 millimeter and let's give this 12 by half so that it's equal and similarly from the bottom this is half of 16 and this over here is 16. <clears throat> so next we have 18. <clears throat> so this is 16 and this is 18. So this side over here should be 1 millimeter. And make this and this equal. Okay, so what do we have left? Okay, it's just this. So that means from the top this should be 20 millimeter which comes from here. So from here to here this is 20. So our sketch is fully constrained. We can close it and turn the transparency back on choose this sketch choose this option pocket and change this to up to face choose this face and here we go select this feature go to polar pattern change the occurrences to 3 and in the axis we will choose this one okay here we go so this is the end of step six. Now we have the final step. We just have to give some chamfers and these are all equal one millimeter with an angle of 45 degrees. So choose this option chamfer. Change the type to distance and angle. Verify the size is one millimeter angle is 45. Select. So select all the edges. So this is it. This is the end of step number seven. And if you followed everything correctly, you should get this. Now, in order to verify if you made your part correctly, what we can do is compare our masses together. And if the value is exactly the same, that means you followed the instructions correctly and your part should be okay. Now, in order to view the mass, you, you have to install an add-on manager. Now, let me just confirm what the name of the add-on is. So it's FC Info. So what you will do is go to tools, add on manager and then search over here, FC info. So you have to click over here and install it. Okay. I have this already installed. Now in order to view the mask, go to macro macros, select FC info, execute, and then choose the body. So here it should be 60.2623 if the density is equivalent to that of liquid water. 
you can of course change the material over here but if it's default then this should be your mask thank you for watching and see you in next video